It's a modern day tornado emergency. It's when you see that red flashing light on the top of your phone and you're at 1%. That means you need to get to a charger immediately. But what are some of the worst That's places? not the first thing I think of when a tornado hits. <laughs> oh shit, charger. where's my charger? Why not? That should be the first thing. Power's gonna go out. You gotta, you gotta call somebody. Okay, okay, go on, go on. <laughs> but what are the worst times, besides a tornado, for your phone to go to 1%? And you need, obviously, to get to a charger. Mm -hmm. uh, my number three is when you're pooping. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What yeah. the hell did we do before there were smartphones when we we're on the toilet? I have no idea and I don't even remember. It wasn't that long ago, but uh, we just stared at a wall or look at the floor or hum to ourselves. My parents had a quality subscription to the Reader's Digest. <laughs> So it's just quality reading and not thumb scrolling. Do you think, are they still around? Reader's Digest? Oh yeah, they have to be. What are they doing? They, I mean, the people are the living longer, so the people who started their subscription at 50 years old are now oh, 80 they get, years like, old. Lifetime so they, yeah. subscriptions right, to Reader's yeah. Digest, they right. gotta produce it for those people. Yeah, they, made it, they signed a contract. I'm and that's... pretty sure my parents have one in their bathroom right now from 2004. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'll try to bring it next episode. It's got Martha Stewart, a young-looking Martha Stewart, on her front cover. Yeah, I mean, that's how you get caught up on your Twitter and your Facebook. And, you, you know, you don't want to be at 1% when you got to drop a deuce. So I'll give you that one. Uh, my number three is, you know, you've been out. Uh, you've had a fru bruise. Um, and you, next thing you know, for whatever reason, you're lost in the ghetto or the woods. And... The woods. In the woods. Where the hell are you having a fruit and, <laughs> and your life the might crick. be in danger or you fear for your safety. But then, like, still you desperately want a late night pizza. <laughs> That's very specific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, you want a pizza in the woods. Well, I just don't want my phone to be at 1% when all of those things hit at the same That's time. That's true. That's, that, is a, that is an emergency there. That, to me, is a tornado, <laughs> people. That is a whirlwind of bad things happening right there so you know that may be specific to that's some, very specific so, yeah so i'll keep my next one simple uh my number two uh worst time to have your phone at one percent two words booty call <laughs> uh this is obviously when you're not around other females or the person of your interest is not in the you're just waiting vicinity. you know you got this hint that you know, she might get off work and give you a call, you know, a little bit later because she works late. So you're you know, you're kind of waiting and then you okay. forget. You got to have it. Missed a chance, man. And if you miss the earlier list, of course, pay phones are dying. So <laughs> you don't have access to <laughs> you, a pay phone you, 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 you call her. No, you're done. You're done. <laughs> it's interesting. I would say you're screwed, but guess what? You're not screwed. There's the irony if you get me. Honesty moment. Have you ever gotten a booty call from a female? Yeah, but they don't call it that. Don't they call it something else? A cuddle session? Oh, like a, like a, a god. <laughs> Cover your kid's ears. I think they call it like a dick appointment or something. <laughs> dick appointment. <laughs> Easy. Spew moment. Um, my number two is at a work conference. Because what are you going to do? Talk to these other weird people that you're grouped together with? Yeah. You need, you need something to do if you're stuck, especially at somewhere that you're not familiar with in a big city. Uh, at a hotel probably and yeah. there's nothing to do of course you don't want to be sold items you don't want to talk to the people around you uh, you have to twiddle your thumbs and do something yeah I was trying to figure out the best way to phrase that because I I didn't have that one but I kept picturing myself in that situation right so like I'm going into something where I don't really have to pay attention but maybe I have to be there just right. because I have to be there um, and then next thing you know you know your phone dies you yep. know it could be could be a bad thing like your kid is at uh graduation it is graduation season yep. and you there they you go to your kid goes to a huge school you know like a thousand kids graduating <laughs> you got got some downtime like you do not i mean they're starting at anderson or whatever and you're mm -hmm. like oh no no like that would I'm be bad. cheer for every single kid. That would be bad. Graduation. No, no. That would that that should be my honorable mention because I should have put that one. Um, but I think the worst time for me would be one percent hits right before your dream job phone interview. Hmm. Because you know a lot of p places you got to go through the phone or first before you get the in face to face uh, job interview. So that is probably the worst thing that could possibly happen. Like oh, I've been waiting for this job forever. You get excited about it. You're doing all your resume note stuff and, and you fail. You, Forget about your phone. Yeah. So what what happens then if they can't? Reach well, you don't have you, a, just, you don't you have just, a whole, you don't have a landline, right? <laughs> you just You're, get knocked off the list, and so it's it's gone. Well, typically the way phone interviews work is like they set up a certain number of them for a day, 
Mm -hmm. And you know, you'd be able to Mr. call them back. You might miss your slot. Yep. You gotta wait till your phone charges and then have it in the wall while you're talking <laughs> to them. I don't know, it wouldn't be a good situation. Now would a power move be that if you knew it was a 1%, go ahead and answer it, do like your best two or three lines and just <laughs> drop the mic and slam it down, that's it. Thank you for and your no, time. Yeah, no, you Look gotta, forward to hearing from you, you guys. You gotta hire me, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, you got. I guess you gotta go all out, you know. Um, so that would just be a very bad time for that to happen. 1% is not what you wanna see at that time. I'm sure our, our viewers and listeners can come up with some better ones than us. Maybe. My number one, my, mine's pretty good. My number one is similar to your number three, but it's when you're driving somewhere that you have absolutely no idea where you're going. Nobody carries around an atlas or a road map anymore, so your phone is, I mean, it's your GPS. It's your, it's life your navigation line, yeah. to where you're going. So, I mean, if you're around, especially a city that has lots of streets you're not familiar with, you have to turn around 12 times, you're in a bad spot, my friend. I agree. The Google Maps, no, oh, yeah, they don't, they don't, they'll still work without service. But not yeah, without no battery. battery. You need a screen. You need a screen to see. So if you don't have any battery whatsoever when you're driving somewhere, you're going to get robbed. Car chargers, people. Car chargers. <laughs> Make sure they work. Otherwise, you'll be in a situation where we have been.